Spoon-fed information. So the whole purpose of this video series is to actually go in and show you how to decompile something. So just by spoon feeding you information on how the first person or how the train works isn't really helping you as a learner. Uh, that's just me as an instructor being lazy and saying, hey, this is the information, let's go on. But I, I want to recap on something on how I got the information. So as I as I spoon feed slash um, show you how I get the information, uh, you won't feel lost when it gets to another application such as Unity. What I did is I went to Island Demo to learn how to do this. I went to Island Demo and I went to the first person controller prefab. So all I did is look up in the hierarchy and try to figure out what was player. Okay. In this, in this case, somebody was so uh, nice enough to actually say, first person controller prefab. Well, I know a prefab to be a construct of many things, and then it looks like to be a prefab, but in this case would be a folder structure. And then under this folder structure has graphics and a main camera, and the graphics being blank. And then the graphics saying poly surface. Okay. On our main camera, I get these scripts. So I know with scripts come uh, the ability to walk around, the ability to think, the ability to use AI. Those, those are what scripts usually drive. Um, knowing that, I was able to know that this is truly how it works right here. And the fact of the matter is, it has a nice mouse look script. All right, so if I look over to the other one that I just showed you how to actually build it, um, if I say open project and I go learning Unity, by making a scene, a blank scene like this, I was able to test that hypothesis by going in here to file open scene and I opened this one right here learning unity and then I went over to first person to hit F it went over to here and voila I got the very the same person and here is character control and here's mouse look so we can see that this has a lot more scripts actually tailed into it. So we're going to be looking at, you know, how the player interacts with things, how the player looks around at stuff, what the difference between first and third person camera is, all those small assets first in very small packages, and then, then we'll go on to more complex things. So that is it for this video. I just want to kind of briefly give you the information on how I got that information. That makes sense.